first successful transplant of pig heart to human. For the first time in history, doctors successfully transplanted a genetically modified pig heart into a patient. The University of Maryland Medical Center, UMMC, released details of the operation this week, saying the pig heart was the only option for survival for David Bennett. A 57-year-old handyman who was suffering from terminal heart disease and was deemed ineligible for a traditional transplant. With the patient doing well after three days, UMMC officials said that the genetically modified animal heart is functioning like a human heart without immediate rejection by the body. Doctors are carefully monitoring the patient, David Bennett of Maryland, to determine whether the transplant provides life-saving benefits. It was either die or do this transplant. I want to live. I know it's a shot in the dark, but it's my last choice, said Bennett in the university's press release, the day before the surgery. He had been hospitalized in Bedjordan for the previous few months. I look forward to getting out of bed after I recover. Public health officials see promise in this type of animal to human transplant. As a means to alleviate a shortage of human organs. More than 106,000 men, women, and children are currently on the national transplant waiting list. This was a breakthrough surgery and brings us one step closer to solving the organ shortage crisis, said Bartley P. Griffith, MD. Who surgically transplanted the pig heart into the patient? The road to this successful xenotransplantation has been long. First tried in the 1980s, Animal-to-human organ transplants were largely abandoned after the famous case of Stephanie Phi Boatler, known as Baby Phi, at Loma Melinda University in California. The infant, born with a fatal heart condition, received a baboon heart transplant and died within a month of the procedure because her immune system rejected the foreign heart. Pig heart valves, however, have been used successfully to replace valves and humans for many years because of physiological similarities between pigs and humans. Bennett did not qualify to be on the transplant list and was ineligible for an artificial heart pump due to his arrhythmia. Fully aware of the risks, Bennett chose the option because he had been admitted to the hospital more than six weeks earlier with Life-threatening arrhythmia and was connected to a heart-lung bypass machine, called extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, ECMO, to remain alive. However, this operation is a milestone for xenotransplantation the transfer of organs from other species to human patients. Thanks for watching this video please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.